This is not your typical setup guide. I'm showing you 22 tips to make your Pixel 9a feel actually premium. Stick with me because we are starting strong and ending with features you probably did not know your phone could do. And first up, let's turn off this annoying setting. And when you install new apps, they automatically drop onto your home screen, which is not nice. So to change that, long press on your home screen, then tap on home settings, then disable add app icons to home screen. And now when you start a new app download, it is not automatically going to add to your home screen, which means less clutter. Next, let's reclaim your power button. By default, if you press and hold on your power button, it actually launches Gemini, which can be quite frustrating if you want to access your power options. And changing it is easy. All we have to do is go into the settings, scroll down and tap on system. And on that system here, tap on gestures, then tap on press and hold power button, and then change to power menu from digital assistant. And now you get the proper shutdown options like a normal person. Before we go deep, let's lock things down. And we start by setting up fingerprint unlock with both thumbs. First, go into your settings and tap on security and privacy, then tap on face and fingerprint unlock. And here you get options to select which kind of combination you like. For me, I would select pin, fingerprint, and face. Now, after setting your pin or whatever preferred method you like, you can decide if you want to show notifications on your lock screen or not. And I suggest you select show sensitive content only when unlocked so that someone unauthorized will not be able to see your notification except you. Then tap on done. Now here you can set up your fingerprint unlock. Tap on I agree at the bottom there. Then tap on start. And just like I'm doing here, you can now place your thumb on the fingerprint sensor here to register your fingerprints. And for me, I'll be registering not just one, but two of my thumbs. So it's easier to unlock the phone with either hand. Then after it's set up, tap on done. And now with the phone locked, we can then unlock it with our fingerprints, which makes using your phone smoother in everyday use. Now let's make your screen feel smoother instantly. First, go into settings, then select display and touch. Scroll all the way down and enable smooth display. Now this gives you that fast 120 Hertz feel, even on a budget device like the Pixel 9a here. And I'm quite shocked that Google did not enable this by default because this absolutely makes a lot of difference. Make sure to leave a comment if you actually notice the difference or not. Next, let's get into apps. And these are my day one installs. And the first app here is Bitwarden, which is a secure password manager that is free. It's open source and you definitely should not still be using the same password you used when you created your account in high school. Bitwarden is free. Install it. Secure your passwords now. And the next one is, well, NextDNS. Now, NextDNS is a way to block ads on a system-wide level and they have such a generous free tier. I'm subscribed to the uh, yearly plan, but it's super cheap. It's like, I think $20 for the year, but even if you wanted to use it free, you'd be able to get rid of all the pesky ads in the different apps you're going to be using on the Pixel 9a. I cannot recommend this enough. And the next app here is Blip, which is a way to be able to wirelessly transfer something similar to AirDrop on the iOS ecosystem, where you can be able to send not just from your Pixel 9a to a PC, which I think is already possible, but from your Pixel 9 8 to Mac OS devices to Windows, of course, and it's really, really nice. I recommend uh, Blip here. If you are like me and you like to keep your photos locally and you do not want to back them up all the time, then I recommend you install Gallery app from Google themselves, where it's an alternative to Google Photos, where instead of displaying your entire gallery from all your apps and all your devices. With Gallery app, you can just have your photos from the Pixel 9a alone. And I think I tend to prefer this approach versus the always online approach of Google Photos. So I recommend you download and install the Gallery app. What apps do you recommend for the Pixel 9a? Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down there below. Now, tweak your status bar. Under settings, uh, tap on battery and then toggle on battery percentage, which is such a tiny fix, but has a huge impact for usability. Just being able to see your battery percentage levels in your status bar there, which I love seeing. And again, I don't know why this is turned off by default, but I always recommend you turn it on. To protect your battery health, enable adaptive charging. Under settings here, tap on battery and then tap on charging optimization here. 
and by default it is at using the charging optimization where it uses adaptive charging to be able to prioritize charging you to 100 percent depending on your usage which i think is great for the short to medium term but if you are someone who really really wants to protect their battery health in the long run i suggest you turn on a limit to 80 percent which will limit the charge of your pixel 9a to just 80 percent and i found that this makes it much more possible to get better battery health in the long run and on some other phones maybe that might not be the best ad advice because you'll be charging up your phone multiple times just to get it to 80 percent but because the pixel 9a here has a really good battery i would say there is no problem here just leaving it at limit to 80 percent and get all of those benefits of a much better battery health in the long run next let's use gestures like a pro in the settings here tap on system and then tap on gestures here there are a few settings that I've enabled that I recommend you enable as well, such as quickly open camera, which allows you to be able to open the camera by double pressing your power button real quick. I found this to be able to, you know, get me those quick shots when I am outside and in a pinch and I want to quickly launch the camera. So enable quickly open camera by double pressing your power button. Next, enable quick tap to start action at the top there, where if you enable the quick tap here and here it's set to take screenshot, which means that if I double tap the back of the phone here, it will take a screenshot just like that. You can also set it to different tasks, such as accessing your digital assistant, playing or pausing music and all these other ones or even setting your own custom apps as well and in case you're someone who is very fidgety and you worry that you might accidentally trigger this you can also enable the require stronger taps at the bottom there so that you really have to hit the phone before it recognizes that you want to do a quick tap action and the last gesture i recommend you turn on here is flip to shh now when you enable it and you receive a phone call you can then silence your phone by just flipping your phone on its face and then it will silent the call which i found to be very helpful in situations where i cannot pick up the call but i also cannot be pressing my phone so flip to shh is a very very nice gesture i recommend you turn on now for some pixel ai sauce open the pixel recorder app then just record an audio like i am doing right now and where i'm just talking to the phone and i'm saying that this is geekception and i want you to subscribe and then i'm just going to tap save then i want you to open that recording and if we go from the audio waveform to the transcript view here we can tap on summarize and uh, while this script is too short um, what it will actually do is it will summarize everything that has been said in the recording with your own device uh, pixel ai without any kind of cloud needed and this is great for meetings it's great for interviews or it's great for i would say lazy note takers but uh, instead of lazy i would say smart note takers let's unlock hidden power in your developer options Open your settings app and go to about phone. Scroll down, then tap on build number seven times. If you've set your pin, you will need to enter the pin right now. And then just like that, you've enabled developer options. So go back, then tap on system, scroll down and tap on developer options. And here, the most important setting we want to change is in the UI animations, which you can find under window animation scale, where we put it to 0.5x transition animation scale which is also 0.5x and animator duration scale which is as you guessed it 0.5x and now when we go back to the home screen and we scroll to the interface you can see how much faster the phone here has become because of the animation scale that we've reduced so if, an, if i open an app like twitter here and i go back to the home screen you can see that going back is almost instant right there so that is what doing the animation scale and reducing it does for your phone and just like that that you've become a hacker you have hacked into your phone and made it just a tiny bit faster let's automate battery saver with rules under settings select system scroll down and tap on rules and here you can set custom rules or you can enable automatically suggest rules and an idea for a custom rule is like enabling battery saver when i leave home or silence your phone at work whenever it auto connects to your wi-fi network at your office so these are some of the powerful things you can do with rules here in the pixel 9a settings 
The Pixel Tips app is surprisingly useful. Search for Pixel Tips or you can just go into your app drawer here and open Pixel Tips. And through the cards here, you'll be able to find hidden features and Google exclusive shortcuts that you probably will not be able to find on some other Android phones. And I really suggest you just spend an afternoon here and go into some of the tips such as here, you can be able to create your own wallpaper with AI, for example. And these are some of the tips you can be able to find in the Pixel Tips app. And even though this is a tips video, I definitely recommend you go into this Pixel Tips app and you will find something that you never knew that your Pixel 9a could do. Tweak Gboard for ultimate typing flow. Under setting, tap on system, then tap on keyboard, on screen keyboard, and then tap on Gboard. And here there are a few settings that we can change to enhance your Gboard experience. First, tap on preferences and enable the number row. So now on your Gboard, you'll be able to have that number row and you do not have to go into like a dedicated section for numbers when you can always just have it at the top all the time. On that clipboard, sometimes I take a screenshot and I want to use it later. You can just enable save recent screenshots, allow access, and now you have the recent screenshots in your clipboard. And if you do not have any of these other settings enabled, I suggest you enable it as well so that when you save something to your clipboard, you don't have to override it the next time you save something else, it will still be there. Which just makes it like very, very convenient. And the last setting I suggest you turn on here is under glide typing, enable gesture cursor control. So now when you are typing something and you press on the space bar, you can actually use it to move the keys left or right, which is something that comes in a pinch when you're trying to be very, very specific in typing a specific word. Don't sleep here on circle to search. Long press on the gesture bars here and you will be able to get a circle to search, which makes you to be able to instantly circle anything on your screen and to be able to search for it, which I think is very, very valuable. This is my most favorite AI feature to date and how I use it, I'm just going to quickly tell you. So for example, I go into my Twitter right here. I'm just scrolling. I'm looking for a place where there is a tweet I do not understand or even if there is a tweet I understand and I've had to come to threads here, but it's still the same thing I'm trying to say where I press and hold circle to search and there is is a translate on the bottom right there. I tap on it and just like that, it translated the text for me. And this works not just for text, it works for images as well. And I really, really recommend Circle to Search. Don't sleep on it, it is legit magic. Turn on notification history and under settings, tap on notifications and then tap on notification history and then toggle it on. And what will happen is that you will never miss a notification again. So for example, someone sent you a WhatsApp notification or a notification for something else and you missed it or you mistakenly swipe away. Well, all you have to do is just come here and you'll be able to see a notification or in fact, all your notifications from this moment onward um, forever uh, in your notification history here, which is really, really helpful I found. Now that's 22 tips to make your Pixel 9a smarter, faster, and more you. Which one is your favorite? Drop a comment and I'll be reading all of them down below. If you have any other tips, leave a comment as well and leave a like so the algorithm knows to push this video further. I've been your captain of awesome. This is Geekception and I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to text me when you get home so I know you got home safe. Bye. for making it all the way to the end of the video and this video took not so long actually why because i bought a mac studio now this is the m3 ultra version of the mac studio that i bought here and yeah this is probably one of the most expensive things i have ever bought like because i bought this i did not get this from apple but that means that i get so much more faster workflow and as you can see here um, i'm able to like this is currently rendering right now but i can still mouse over it like this like that is insane i could never hope to do that and even look at my timeline i am a lot more adventurous with this timeline as you can see from some of the effects i did in this video so yeah i'm so excited for this um uh, uh mac studio for the videos that are coming forward um i hope you're taking care of yourself um hashtag um awesome uh, studio uh, at the end so i know you made it to the end of the video um how are you doing what are you obsessed with right now as you can tell i'm obsessed with mac studio i have a samsung 
Samsung, a Google event, well, not a Google, but a YouTube event to get to. So I really have to get out of the home right now, but I really want to publish this video before I do that. And yeah, I shall look forward to seeing all your comments down there below. And don't forget to stay awesome. All right, bye.